so I'm Nat, um, I'm a marketing officer here at CAS. I'm Mark Ellams, I am a sports lecturer at Club Doncaster Sports College and University Campus Doncaster. So I started Doncaster College in 2011. It was, a, it was an excellent experience and met some friends for life. I really enjoyed having the freedom and the flexibility to be able to choose which modules that I enjoyed and that fitted my job role. And also having the support of my tutors there, either email or um, just a phone call away. Welcome to the Madhouse. <laughs> the fact that I could transition from the degree programme onto the, the teaching programme was excellent. It was just nice to get the knowledge and the skills that support what I do um, in my everyday job role um, that I've then been able to build on whilst at work. Teaching was a, a definitely a vocation I wanted to go into. I was fortunate enough to get uh, some fitness testing placement at Doncaster Rovers. I'm Adam Barrett. My name is Oscar Reddy. I'm the junior sous chef. I'm a chef de party at DM1 Delicatessen and Dining. I really enjoyed my time at Dunster College. Most of it was the tutors. Give me a lot of skills in management and team building. The enthusiasm that was put into every sort of lesson. The facilities were absolutely amazing. Studying at Dunster College helped me. It gave me a good platform to get into my current job role. It definitely puts you in a position where you can leave the college industry ready, being able to just go straight into a job and know exactly what I'm doing. Yeah, my name's Dean Wiffern, I work at Doncaster Council within the Public Health team. Hello, my name's Magda Jenkins and I work for Doncaster Council in the new Your Place team. It was great learning with, with colleagues, uh, being able to put into practice things what you learn within college and then putting it back in the workplace, that was a big benefit for, me, for myself. We changed um, quite a lot of processes and the way that we deal with things because of what we learnt on the, on the course, what I learnt on the course, so that was fab. Taking that bird's eye view really of being able to learn and instead of just working on the job day in day out. I did a work-based project which was taken to government, a uh, local government office. From that um, I got the confidence to then go for the job that I'm in now, which is like a dream job. So my name's Vicky, I'm a midwifery support worker and I work in antenatal clinic. Hi, I'm Adam Hopkinson uh, and I'm currently a first team player for Doncaster Knights. The support given by tutors, they really helped me to um, be able to complete my diploma, um, as well as doing English and Maths alongside doing my diploma, um, everyone were really supportive. So I was really grateful with like the opportunities that I was given. I would say they would like prepare me for my days a, a lot better, so obviously like being able to actually know the science behind what goes on in my body and like throughout training days and like being able to to get what I need to be able to give 100% for, for the next day and be able to train at that, that high peak athlete level. Learning about different, different topics that I do within my job, but until you start doing your diploma, you don't actually realise that much how it all comes in, so it all like ties in together. It's probably give me more of a drive and a passion to, to, go, to go further in my career. Studying at Doncaster College, uh, it's helped me reflect on, on the theories and, and things behind, behind leadership, management and things like that. Just having those, those work experience placements that you maybe don't get at other universities where they have large amounts of students, the fact that it was at a university that had 40 in the year group, it lent itself to having those opportunities to get involved within sport, health, exercise and, and teaching as well. It's given me quite a, a depth in my, in my CV, so uh, for example with my uh, masseuse we got uh, opportunities given to us, um, so we had roles um, with physical therapy and massage therapy at uh, Roslyn Park Sevens and we actually helped out with uh, Samoa Rugby League when the World Cup came round. I've worked here for 10 years in various different job roles across the theatre so if it wasn't for my qualification I wouldn't have been able to apply for my job role when it came up 
Um, it gave me the tools and the training and the, the background knowledge to be able to apply. The learning skills within college, obviously they offer lots of opportunities. Healthcare being, being one is brilliant because you've got a lot of young people, even older people like me, able to learn learn to get the qualification in health and social care. It's not just a case of just walking into hospital and doing a job anymore. You've actually got to have vocational skills. I didn't realise that I had that kind of potential. It really helped because it gave me that confidence to be where I am now. Doncaster is a really vibrant, emerging, up and coming city. I think local people developing local skills like Doncaster College, then working local business like DN1, training in a job that is a hard job but is very rewarding and it'll do a lot for the local community. Hopefully people can, can progress themselves and, and then put that back into Doncaster, it's gonna it's gonna help the economy. Being an adopted Doncastrian, should I say. I think it's important that, that students who have graduated and local students have the opportunity to showcase the skills that they have got through their degree. Certainly myself as a sports graduate and a teaching graduate, I feel I've been able to embed those key fundamentals that I've learned into what is now my, my local community. Doncaster, it's a small city. What we want is for more people to come from the college and put their skill set back into it. I think there's so much talent in Doncaster. It's nice to sort of go into various places and you've got that local knowledge and that skills base of, of the area. The more we can do as local people, the, the better our, our city will be. So a piece of advice I'd give to a college student is to stay at it, you work at it, and then you can become a lot better. Just to really try and, and do as much work experience as you can is definitely a piece of advice I'd give you. I think if anyone's thinking about, just even thinking about doing in some extra study, I'd just say go for it. Just don't be afraid to like fail. Like, it's, like, it's not always going to be a smooth journey and you just, just keep going through it um, and do what you would really enjoy. I don't do it for someone else, don't, like make sure it's what you want and you always find a place no matter where you go. You have to get your head down, go for it 100% and don't look back. You've got to have a passion for what you do, so you've got to be able to care. Um, you've got to be ready to, to, you know, complete everything that needs completing, whether that be training, mandatory training, anything to, to help you within your role. I think the one piece of advice that I would give to anyone looking at their future career goals or studying options is just pick things that you enjoy and that you're good at. Um, I think you never know where it leads to, so I think if you're enjoying yourself and it's things that you're interested in, I think you'll get the opportunities and you'll be able to make the most of it.